Hey everybody, it's Mary at Yard Art RS. I hope you guys are doing great. I'm going to paint a couple of um, blue bonnets. It has been a wild and crazy day, y'all. It's hot out there. We've been running around like a bunch of chicken with our head cut off. And uh, what's new, right? So it's Friday afternoon. I hope you guys are doing great today. I'm on StreamYard, so hopefully y'all can see. Hey, Debbie, how are you? Uh, tell me if you can hear me, Debbie. I hope you can. But hopefully y'all can see kind of what I've got going on. Um, I like this camera view of y'all being able to see from the top part. I'm going to do some blue bonnets. We actually have two of them. They're sold as a set. And um, that way you get to both of these. I can't remember how much they are. Oh, this is right here, $18 for the two of them. And uh, they would look good aside of Texas or anything Texas theme or just out there in the, uh, in the flower beds. So. Yes, all's good. Good. Debbie, did you notice I actually think I went live in the right groups? <laughs> so I'm going to do some blending. Ashley's been doing a lot of blending lately, and I haven't. I thought, well, I think in, in order to make these things look good, I'm going to have to do a little bit of blending. Hello, I finally fixed the Facebook notifications for live. So yay! She says, it just says Facebook user. It doesn't tell me your name, but that's okay. That's okay. It just says Facebook user. Okay, so it's Friday, y'all. Thank goodness. I had a kids paint party today at the store. Y'all, those kids were so good. And uh, I was just so surprised because you just, you know, with kids, you just don't know how it's going to go. And uh, they were in between like eight, uh, six and eight years old. And they were painting their capital letter and their little letters. And I had all these embellishments like dinosaurs and uh, whatever, ballerinas and unicorns. And those kids, you know, it just doesn't take much to make them happy. Thank goodness. So I've got Brilliant Blue on here. I started with brilliant blue, which is this one, and then I've got white. I'm going to show you some. Really, to me, this piece is not that hard. There's, you do have to do a little bit of work, obviously. But I start when I do this, guy. This is the way I do it, and I think if you'll try this, this might be the best the best way for you. Um, is you're going to get your paint on here like this. And you can always come down to that end, too, if you want to, right? And you're just getting, and I start here at the top and work down. And I'm going to kind of show you why I do it that way. Because when I start at the top and I work down, I kind of get it on the next one below it. But then if I kind of come down, then I can cover that up, if that makes any sense. And so I start here. And I have a pretty small brush, y'all. It's a number 10. So the kids were at the party today. I laughed so hard. They were just chitter chattering and being kids, you know, being good. They, they were really good. And uh, y'all, I don't know, a lot of y'all know I taught school. So I feel right at home with the kids, you know. And so I was making them do all sorts of things and their parents were just sitting there watching going, they don't do this at home. For example, um, wanted to bring the granddaughters, but yeah, yeah. We'll have another one, I think in two weeks, two weeks from today. Uh, so uh, at the end, y'all, I had them grab a baby wipe. We keep baby wipes because the baby wipes are really good if you want to keep the paint off of you, you know. So I had them grab a baby wipe, and then I told them, stand up. They were sitting in chairs at the time. I said, go ahead and stand up, and they did. I said, now you have your baby wipe in your hand. You know, I held the palm out of my hand like this, and they had their baby wipe. So I said, push your chair back, and they did. And I said, now I need you to bend over. And I need you to wipe up the floor right around your chair where you were sitting. And that way, if you've got any paint on the floor, you know, it'll pick it up. Girl, those kids, they were funny. They just bent right over and started mopping the floor with the baby wipes. And the moms were just like, what? They don't ever, if I asked them to do that at home, they would never do that at home. I said, well, it's different if, if it's the parent the other than me. You know, I'm not the parent, so it's different. So, um, but they did, they did exactly what I asked. Um, so we had a good time. They were just kids, you know, just being silly kids. And, uh, some of them really knew what they wanted to do as far as their art project. And of course, then other ones couldn't decide what to do. And, uh, so I would help some of them make a decision, but they did a great job. And, uh, I got a kick out of them when they were start. They were just, I said, let's mop the floor with the, the baby wipe, and they, they just got after it. Y'all notice that I just kind of keep putting paint on this thing, don't I? That's really all I'm doing. 
just kind of keep putting paint on that brush and bringing it down. Now I'm going to come back and do a little bit of outlining on here um, and making sure that it looks good. So to me, the blue bonnet is just basically blue and white. That's just really all I put on here. And I might put a few of these, you know, a few brush strokes, but nothing, nothing too much because we don't have a lot of space to work with, right? And I just keep loading that brush over and over. I got quite a bit of paint on there, which is really what you need. So, and then tomorrow, I'm, I think I've got to do a live over at the, at the shop because we got new stuff in from Laredo. So everybody's been unloading the trailer all day, y'all, and it's hot as Hades out there. You know, very, very warm out there. And it's not going to get any better for quite some time, as we all know. As we all know. Keep putting paint on there. And if you'll just kind of, I'm just, all I'm doing on any of my blue bonnets is just straight blue and white. Okay. Straight blue and white. Now this I didn't paint and I should have, that's like the stem. I'm going to come back and paint that. That's the green stem. And I just kind of keep going wherever I think I want my paint to go. And you might put something in there like that. Kind of come up here. Tell me what you guys got planned this weekend. I don't have a lot of plans. Thank goodness. Next two weekends after this, we have paint parties on Saturday. But this Saturday, I kind of have the day off. So I'm kind of excited about that. That's kind of cool. And I was asking the kids, do y'all sleep late and just eat junk food? I was asking them, how do y'all like being out of school? Of course, they all loved it. And uh, the moms kind of liked it because they could kind of sit there and veg out. A few of them went out and shopped at the store for a long time while we were there. A few of them left and came back, which was fine. I told them I had no problem with that. And uh, so I just keep putting more paint on here. And that's really what it takes. Because when you're blending like this, you really want... In order to get that graduation of color, you're going to have to have quite a bit of paint on there. And if you don't have another CNC line there, I'm just making one. That's all I'm doing. So, Lord have mercy, it says how to paint wool on a lamb is the title. That's the wrong title on here, y'all. We're not painting wool on a lamb. We're doing something else. We're painting blue bonnets. I had to go to Xfinity, y'all, to get... Okay, so I'm out here in my what I call my art room, which is the old... It's our former garage, okay? It's been made into an art room. And for whatever reason, the wipe out, out here is not good. And I don't know if it's just probably because the modem is so far from here in this part of the house, you know? So I had to go to Xfinity store today during lunch and go get uh, an X5 pod. And basically it's just like a booster, right? But because I have two accounts with Xfinity, one for here, the house, and one for the business, every time I go onto the mobile app, which is how you hook up X5 Pods, is on the mobile app, it pulls the business and not the house. So I had to call Xfinity, even though I was there in the store, they didn't fix it, like they said they were going to. You know how that goes. So, and um, I knew I was, had that paint party, so I was like trying to hurry. And um, I think I'm starting to like this. Let's work on the other one. I'm going to let that dry, and then I'll come back and put some more white on it. With the, um, hey, Joyce, how are you? And hi, Brandy, how are you? Brandy, are you the one? I think you might be the one that sent me an email on, um, I think you're out of town and sent me an email about wholesale. I got your email. I will respond, I promise. It has just been kind of a crazy um time around here the thing is june we're really working uh those of you that have been following this y'all know that we do christmas in july right <clears throat> make sure I stop talking and get this right and uh so june we're really busy trying to get ready for christmas in july so we have been real busy just it takes a lot of work to um you know, you kind of have to plan everything. And then, of course, you have to plan time for that on that, what I call machine time and give your uh, 
your machine is time to cut everything. And then it has to be, we've started last year. We didn't, but this year, every time we do a sneak peek, we try to give a painted sample for you to look at. So it has to be in time that we can do a painted sample and be in time for the sneak peek and have the products on the shelf. So uh, you can imagine how much you work from a backwards timeline, right? And on your backwards timeline, you've got to make sure that by the time we do the sneak peek, which is usually the first week in July, all my samples are painted, all my inventory is ready to go. So um, I've been working on that for quite some time. Of course, I'm doing other things, but um, it takes that, you know, that kind of thinking. You kind of have to always be thinking about that next season. And then I was up at Ace today. If y'all been knowing, I've been complaining about the supply chain. I think me and everybody else is complaining about the supply chain. I don't think the complaining does any good. I don't know. Maybe it makes me feel better. <laughs> Facebook user says, I love the blue bonnets. Hey, Debbie, how are you from uh, uh, rainy Ohio? Girl, we it, 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 this week has been a lot better. But there for a couple of weeks, all it did was rain. And it rained 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 and it rained. And now we're drying out. Uh, in fact, I have a crew that comes in and mows my yard. And for the last several times they've mowed, they cannot mow my front yard. My front yard is pretty uh, sad to say it's it's got a big old low spot. I live on two acres, y'all, so I don't really water my yard. And then sad to say my yard's really not manicured either. I just tell Bruce, if you give, give me a lot of money and I could pay somebody to go out there. Well, the first thing they'd have to do is put in a sprinkler system. But um, it rained and it rained and it rained and it rained and it rained. So my front yard still has not been mowed in I don't know how long, a long time. So uh, even though they, they show up and they mow, they just can't mow. Because if they do, they're going to get their, uh, their mower stuck. That's just lots and lots and lots. <clears throat> Now, it has uh, stopped raining here, but man, that just means the mosquitoes and the heat are here very ferociously so, right? That's all that really means. Granny says, yes, I was. I was understanding you're being busy. Yeah. Hey, we're having rain next week again, Debbie. What the heck? Hey, Leticia, how are you? I'm doing some blue bonnets while y'all are hanging out with me and watching. It's so much fun with y'all here to talk to. I guess I really do all the talking, but hey, you know how that goes not much changes and uh, I didn't know we we're gonna have rain next week and so much of what we do is outside so the rain really does affect us but you know you, you have to have a certain amount of rain just the way the world works but uh, Paul and I both agree if we could just get rain um, during the night when everybody's sleeping that that would be really good if it could only rain during the night that way during the day we could get everything done that we need to get done that sounds like a great plan, doesn't it? I don't know. Y'all can kind of tell I got so much paint on this on this um, brush. And notice my colors, <clears throat> like over here, it's more wide as my stroke is than, say, over here. I don't worry about that, okay? In fact, I was thinking about this the other day. Um, Bruce and I were talking about, y'all, we talk about yard art all the time. You would think that we could, after... 30 something years of doing this, we wouldn't have anything to talk about in terms of yard art, but we were talking about it the other day and I said, you know, and he was saying something about, well, this piece looks really, really good. You've got a lot of paint on it though. Maybe you have too much. And cause sometimes I do have a, a heavier hand and I do tend to put in a lot of color, but you know, we were talking and I said, well, I always like to look at yard art from afar. It to me, it looks good when you get back about eight to 10 feet from the piece. And then that way I'll know if I'm going to like it. So by the time you do that, you're not really going to see a lot of some of this really, really intricate kind of stuff that, you know, that you think about. But I'm not saying you want it to be sloppy because I don't think you do. But at the same time, yard art to me was really made to look at from a distance, you know, eight, 10, 12 feet away. And uh, that's why I put so much paint and color on my stuff, because when you get that far away, you really want to be able to see it. If you're going to be able to see it, you got to have a lot of color on there. So, all right. So what I'm going to do, I've got the base 
basic done, right? I, I really got pretty much a now, Debbie, you're not trying to tell me that there's something out in the Gulf as in a, a disturbance, are you? Because I haven't watched the news. There better not be. Please tell me there's nothing out in the Gulf except maybe a little bit of rain coming our way. Hey, Ash, Ashley's been out at the uh, water park today, y'all. <laughs> and uh, she's like, Mom, it's so hot out here. I'm so tired. You know, so anyway, the reason uh, that I can do StreamYard now is I went to, um, what do you call it, Xfinity and got me a, X5 pod. And so I'm on my laptop with you guys and my cell phone. So um, I'm watering down this white paint a lot. And the reason I'm doing that <clears throat> is because I have, um, you can tell, let me put this up here by the camera. I think you can tell. So look at my CNC lines, right? So those CNC lines don't have enough paint in them. They're kind of splotchy. When you look at that. So what this white paint that I'm fixing to do, 98 bombing degrees in Florida, no rain. You know, my cousin lives in Florida and she's been complaining, saying that y'all have not had any rain there. Nothing really. She's just outside of uh, Orlando in a little town called Kissimmee. Not Kissimmee, I'm sorry, Sorrento. She used to live in Kissimmee. She doesn't live there anymore. And she's been saying that too. So look at what I'm doing. I'm just taking that white paint with a lot of water and you can see the difference and putting a lot of paint. See what happens? A lot of paint into the, those C and C lines. So when you look at the ones that I think I just did four or five of them versus the ones I haven't done, big difference, big difference. But in order to get down into that line really good, you need to water that paint down quite a bit. That's what I do. And then, of course, you got to put some pressure on the brush. So. Yeah, just like that. But then you can see it's starting to take a shape. It's starting to look good. The fact that I've got enough paint on here. And I'm really starting to put a definition in here on these blue bonnets down into that CNC lines, what I mean by definition. Okay. And uh, it's not that this looks bad from a distance. You probably wouldn't even know it, but this up here that I am doing right now looks so much more. It's just uh, much more uh, bright and easy to see. So you want to, you want, you're going to have these like in your flower bed or something like that. You really want them to kind of pop and y'all, I cannot grow anything. At, so whatever uh, plants I have, they're going to be in the form of yard art. Uh, my mom and my grandma, they could grow anything, but I can't. I basically kill anything I try to grow. I, I don't know what my problem is y'all, but evidently I do not have a green thumb. And blue bonnets is kind of a Texas thing. It's our state flower. But I just think they're really pretty too. You can tell I've just got quite a bit of paint on that brush. And since this is a plant, it's not as if we're worried about each leaf being, uh, you know, scaled in proportion to the other leaf. This is a plant, so it's not going to be perfect. But that kind of is the appeal of what you want. You really don't want a, a plant to be totally perfect and asymmetrical. Or at least I don't think I do. Fake flowers are the best. Yes, yes, yes. She says, I'm in Jacksonville, not far away from me. Ah, good deal. Good deal. Yeah, my cousin has lived in Orlando, or right out of Orlando for a long time. She lives in that little town called Sorrento. I haven't been over there in a long time to see her, but she comes over here quite a bit. We both grew up together here in Texas, so she comes home a lot. All right, y'all, I've got a little bit more on this guy. 
And then, of course, I have to do the green. I've got to shade that green, but that won't take but just a few minutes. And now next week, uh, Ashley and I'll be on live doing quite a few lives. I am going to go into the back of the academy, and I'm going to do a live from the computer showing you what's in the academy in terms of the portal and showing you, you know, the videos that are back there and all that kind of stuff. So one of the lives I'm doing next week will be at my computer in my office. We will be opening up the Academy on Monday. So I'm going to show lots of folks all kinds of stuff that's in there. All right, let's do this. So I think I've got my, this guy to the point where I'm pretty happy with it. I, so of course I haven't done the green, but I will. I'll kind of put it up. I like having the camera up here so I can kind of show you guys a really good close-up view. Okay. So let's start on this guy. And let me just show you, <clears throat> now that I've got this camera view this way, this is just the difference in them being outlined. That's it. So you can tell this one right here that I'm shaking. It's just got a lot more pop to it than this one. There's really nothing wrong with this one. This one still looks good. But when you put these out in the yard, I think if you've got a good outline on it, it's really going to show a good pop of color against your plants or your yard or your grass or whatever. So um, we sell a Texas, uh, Texas flag truck and some other Texas stuff that I think this would look really cute with. And that's another thing. I was at the store today going through all the blanks and stuff, trying to organize them, knowing that Christmas is coming. We're cutting, well, we are cutting Christmas right now. And um, so we have a little, uh, two, basically almost like a little two-car garage at the shop that we put our blanks in. So it's not a big space. So we have to be very, very, very cautious about our space and use it as efficiently and wisely as we can. Sometimes, you know, I'll say, Bruce will say, well, Maybe we should just sell this and go find us a bigger place. And y'all, I, I just don't want to do that. A bigger place means I'll buy, have to buy more stuff and put more stuff in there and keep up with more stuff. You like you buy a bigger house, you get more furniture, that kind of thing. All right, y'all, this is looking really good. Starting to like my blip on it. I really like it with the outline, I think. And I, I really like the fact that I have Wi-Fi in here with you guys. I can do uh, the stream yard on my uh, laptop now. Without the laptop, I couldn't. I could do Wi-Fi. I mean, I stream yard, but I couldn't see any of the comments. So I'm on my. The view of my face is on my laptop, and so I can actually see comments. Do you have any black bear designs? You know, Brandy, I sure don't. And I, I never have done any kind of bear type of things. And I guess it's because. We're just here in Texas, and we you, you just don't have a lot of that here. So, no, I sure don't have any black bear, although I think that would be super cute. But, you know, a lot of times, Brandy, if you're looking for stuff like that, you can go uh, and type in an Etsy, type in black bear design or black bear SVG. Sometimes you can find stuff like that in there. That's one thing. I, we sell our, our finished product on Etsy. And um, I, I have to say, even though I know I've heard a lot of horror stories about people's shops getting shut down and all of that kind of stuff. Fortunately, we've never had that, but there's a lot of stuff on Etsy that you can find, you know, lots and lots of stuff. So you might be able to find something there. Uh, I don't know if you've ever even looked yet, but I would try that if you haven't. I am going to, I really want to learn to paint, and I've never done this, y'all, but I don't know if I'll get to it this year, but I am going to teach myself or learn from somebody on how to paint roses and hydrangeas. I just think if, like, there's certain things I'd like to put a rose on. Now, my mother-in-law, she's passed away, but she could paint some roses. Like, oh, my lands. And I really now am regretting that I just didn't, you know, really while she was here, really learned that. I just, I, I was I'm busy trying to learn other things, that's for sure, but I never learned how to do that. And so sometimes I'll go to YouTube and there's some ladies you can just type in, you know, how to paint a rose or something like that. And you're just like, oh my lands, they look beautiful. And it's simply a matter of 
me sitting down and taking the time that it's going to take to sit down, turn everything else off and focus and practice over and over and over. I could get good at it. You know, I just am not good at it right now. But it takes a certain amount of dedication, right? Time. My biggest thing is I have the desire. It's trying to carve out the time, you know, among 20 million other things. And I think I think that's probably how most people feel is just that, you know, people have a lot going on. And so you need you need time to learn stuff like that. Okay, so I've got my I think I have this the way I want it. Um, so what I'm going to do now, normally, let me see what I'm going to do here, y'all. Let me pull this other guy here. Okay, yeah, I think I'm going to, I was going to not shade, but y'all have to shade. I was not going to shade this green down here, but I've got to. I just, just goes against me not to, not to shade. I have to shade. I, I, I don't know why I think I have to, but that's just what I do. And it won't take me, but just you know, 30 seconds to shade it. So it's not a big deal. Um, you're going to get a bigger blank space. You're going to have to, yeah. You know, Debbie, Bruce and I have talked about that so many times over the years. Because for those of you that don't know about our brick and mortar store, it's um, it's uh, about an acre and a half. And on there, of course, you have to have your parking lot and your place to sell stuff and the yard to sell. And then we have a big metal shop and the small house that's been converted now into a paint party room. So we really don't have a lot of space. Uh, and we've talked before, I really honestly don't think we could afford, especially now with the way prices are on land and stuff, to go get a bigger place, you know. Uh, and honestly, and you know, if I didn't have to worry about money or anything like that, I really think we need about five acres between parking lots and all the things that are in my head, you know, that we could do, but we don't have the space, <laughs> you know. So I think we could probably use about five acres. I'm just putting a little bit on here. You can tell I got some white paint on that. I'm going to come back. It's okay. No worries. Let me put a little bit on here. And of course, there would be the, the slight matter of having to pay for a new space. <laughs> uh, it's so hard to see the details. Is it Trish? Okay, so let me ask you, Trish. I'm glad you said that. So when you, I can bring this part down that I'm shaking. Maybe that would be helpful next time I do a live to bring it down. I kind of made it go up higher because I wanted you to see the whole thing. Um, but I definitely can do that if that would help. Okay, let's do it this way. And then I'm almost done here, y'all. All right. While this is out, I'm going to just go ahead using my script liner, and I'm just going to do this. Just put a little bit of green right here. I'm not going to try to shade that because there's just not enough room to shade. I'm just going to put a little bit of outline there. Okay. And then, of course, i got to put a few highlights on the little leaves down here, and I'm done. Y'all, it's Friday. The weekend is coming. I wish the weather was cooler, but hey, you got to go with what you got. It's not going to get cool here for about four months. And y'all know I've got to come in here and just do something like this. Two, 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 two. All right. Y'all, I think these are really cute. I've enjoyed them. I painted a set for the samples for the sneak peek, and then this is the second set that I painted. And those are my blue bonnets. And this is really that blending that Ashley's kind of been uh, doing a lot of lately. And don't worry about it if the colors all bleed together because that's sometimes just the way it goes. Hey, Kim. I just now saw you on here. Maybe you've been on here and I just didn't see you. I'm sorry. Uh, but we'll be on next week. We'll be doing lives all next week. The Academy opens up on Monday. If you're happen to be interested in that, I'll be on live doing several different things as well as Ashley. She still has to do the, uh, interchangeable truck and known the last two weeks of June. Cause I think that's probably when she'll be doing it next week or the week after. 
And uh, we will see you guys. I hope you have a great weekend. We'll be back here next week doing all sort of things on uh, on uh, doing lives. And um, I'm going to kind of enjoy this weekend. I might even take a nap on Saturday. <laughs> Thank y'all for joining. I hope you guys have a good one and have a great, great, relaxing weekend. Bye-bye.